So in honor of the CMA International airing tonight, I uh, was looking at my vinyl collection and I realized that I don't have any country musicians in it. And that's a problem. Don't get me wrong, I love my rock music because that's all I have. I love rock music. But I also am a country music fan. So I need my collection to reflect that. So I decided to go to my local vinyl shop and see what they had in there. And um, I bought two albums. The first one is something that I forgot all about. This one right here, Brantley Gilbert, Just As I Am. This album is a gem. I don't know how I forgot it, but this album is everything. I remember when I stumbled across it at my local bookstore. Um, I got it for like eight bucks and to be honest, only one song I, I knew stood out and that was Bottoms Up and that was just enough for me to blindly buy it and listen to it and I loved it from start to finish. Um, I just love this album. I got into the habit of playing this thing like two to three times a day. I remember at that point I had like a Windows phone and I copied the album to my PC and then I put it on to my Windows phone. So when I was away from the CD, I could play it in my headphones. This this is a true gem. Uh, I would say my favorite song on here is Lights of My Hometown because it just reminds me of summer. It reminds me of pep rallies. It reminds me of that local sporting uh, sporting team that's getting fired up. It just reminds me of, of that. Um, honestly, I would love to, to see him perform at the Super Bowl or something like that, because I feel like that would be great. Um, honestly, this whole album is pretty good, but that's my favorite. Then I would say uh, the intro. If you want a bad boy, it's a pretty badass way to start um, an album off. Um, and let's see. That Was Us was pretty good, too. So this whole album is pretty good. I would say my least favorite on, on here would be the Bottoms Up remix because I just felt like the song was already good. It didn't need to be remixed. So that, that was just me. But yeah, this, this is definitely a must have. And I had to add this to my collection as soon as I saw it. This wasn't even a thought. Like I didn't have to think about like, oh, I don't know. Is, is it worth $18? I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth $18. Grab that, put that in the, in the car, it's coming home. So yeah, I got it. It's the platinum edition. It didn't come with any like, um, posters or pictures or anything like that or just any little thing which is kind of upsetting but honestly that don't matter really I just like to see like the extra things added to added to the um, vinyls because you get little gifts with these things usually but yeah uh, this was definitely a no brainer when I got it the next one it depends on how you feel, but was Morgan Wallen, if I know me. Now, yes, he has had some controversy surrounding him, and I don't want to get really political or anything like that, but I just can't, ha I can't stand cancel culture. For the most part, I understand canceling people sometimes, but it's not always the go-to. Um, it's not always the go-to. Uh, this man apologized for it, um, and honestly, I think we should just move on from it. Uh, we've heard worse from other artists out here, and I will say this. We have rappers out here that say some really offensive things, get praised for it, and they never apologize, and they're still up, um, celebrated and relevant in the rap industry, so whatever, whatever, and... Um, so with that being said, if you can support those artists for being like that, you can support an artist who realized that they were wrong and apologized for it. There's no need to cancel. But anyway, this album is great. This album is great. 
I honestly cannot even tell you which one is my favorite because they're all neck and neck with each other. This is also one of those albums that you put on and you don't have to worry about skipping through or checking out because like god i don't really like the song like that this is great from start to finish and that's the thing with vinyls that's the thing with vinyls vinyls you don't waste the vinyl collection on just anybody there are certain albums that you put in there if the album cannot be played from start to finish then, then it's not worthy. If it only has two good songs on it, it's not worthy. And I think the vinyl, the vinyl trend is going to expose a lot of artists because you do have some that may put maybe two or three good songs on the album and then the rest is just meh, the rest is so-so. And usually in the day and age of streaming, we're able to overlook that because we could just skip it. We can just buy that song in particular. We don't have to really worry about buying the entire al album. But if you are a vinyl collector, you want something that you can play to, from start to finish and love it all the way through. This is one of those albums. You cannot deny the talent um, surrounding this guy. So, yeah, love it. Um, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. Oh, yeah, before we leave. If you have an album that you want me to check out, leave a comment down below. And with that being said, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. And we're out. Thanks for watching.